Hello, dear. I have you muted, so I can't hear you if you talk. <laughs> you can unmute yourself if you want, but we'll get started in about two minutes. I am already recording. I had it set up to automatically record so I wouldn't forget. Um, so if you're seeing this, I'm not gonna start until the exact time. So if you're watching the playback, go ahead and zoom in like two minutes. Um, and that's when the real nitty gritty will start. So now we just sit here and twiddle our thumbs together, Mickey. <laughs> you have your pen ready to take notes, huh? <laughs> you are all set. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. We'll give about one more minute and then we'll jump in and get started. I am going to record it and I will upload it to YouTube so um, you can access it later because I know if you're anything like me, you have to go back and rewatch things <laughs> to really figure them out, especially something like this. I'm going to do this training basically just, um, I'm going to do mainly screen share and walk you through exactly how to do something. That's how I learn best. So that's just how I, I like to do things. Um, so that's how we'll do it. Hey, Tammy, I see that you've jumped on. Tammy is one of our brand new team members. So welcome, Tammy. Hey, Raina. How are you, hon? You guys can't talk to me because I have you all muted. <laughs> um, I will let you know that at the very end, I will um, open it up for you guys to jump in with any questions that you might have. But during the training, I do have um, you guys all muted. So. I'm gonna give it maybe one more minute for other people to jump on and then we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I was just telling Mickey that I am recording this um, and tomorrow or maybe Thursday, I am going to upload it to YouTube. So you will be able to view it again if you need to go back and rewatch. You'll notice I'm in my bedroom tonight. Um, I have a mama cat and three kittens down in my office and they're about to drive me mad. Um, they are climbing everything, including me. So I'm in my bedroom, so I don't have like cats sitting on me. <laughs> all right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you so much for all of you that have joined live. Um, I'm gonna jump right into it because Zoom calls do limit me on my time. So this training is on Canva. Canva is a um, graphics program that I use all the time, multiple times every week. It is an app that I pay for, but there is a free version as well. So let's start out just by talking about um, free versus the paid. Um, and a lot of this will make sense when we really get into it. It's free for just the basic basic. So I would suggest if you're new to this type of stuff that you just give it a go on the free for a while. Um, hopefully the free version, you can figure it out easy, but don't waste your money while you're just figuring out and playing with it. Um, when you do decide to give it a go, even when you do the upgraded system, it's free for 30 days. So if you feel pretty comfortable and savvy with um, computers and things like that, maybe you go ahead and jump in and you do your first 30 days free. Um, after that, it is either $12.95 per month if you pay monthly, or if you pay for a full year at a time, it breaks down to $9.95 monthly. It's one big chunk of $119.40 for a whole year. So the, the differences. On the free version, you only get two folders. When you upgrade, you get unlimited folders. Now, folders are what we're gonna save graphics in. That'll make sense in a minute. Um, on the free version, you only get one gigabyte of storage. On the upgraded version, it's unlimited. And I'll scroll you guys through my Canva account and show you how much stuff I've saved on there. And I mean, there's no way I could do it on the free version. Um, on the free version, you have access to 8,000 
photos, templates, backgrounds, things like that. When you upgrade, you get 400,000 photos, templates, things like that. So a big difference there. Um, also, when you're on the upgraded version, you can automatically resize things. And I just thought of something I'm gonna put in my notes. So I don't forget to talk about it. Um, so that means maybe you've designed a graphic to be um, a Facebook post, but you want to resize it for Instagram because those different um, social media outlets prefer different sizing. If you upgrade, you can automatically resize something. Um, also, when you upgrade, you can save your favorite um, color palettes and fonts and things like that. If you're watching this video, you're on my team, you've probably been watching my page, you will notice that I use a lot of the same fonts over and over and over again. It is recommended for you to gain brand recognition. Now, I'm not talking about Cincy, I'm talking about your brand. Um, to gain brand recognition, you need to maintain the same colors and you need to maintain the same fonts. Um, think of Disney. Anytime you see something in that font, that Disney font, you know it's Disney before you even read what it is. So that's what we're working towards is brand recognition. And again, not just Cincy brand, but your brand. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go over to um, Screen Share. We're gonna do most of the rest of this training in Screen Share so I can show you guys um, Canva, how to use it, what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start out with a very, very easy one and then we're gonna go into a more advanced one. So here, let me go to screen share real quick. Okay, so I am going to jump over here to Canva. Now I'm already logged in. You can see um, all my designs down here that I've saved. So you, you guys can see how much I use Canva. You'll also notice that I use it mainly for Scentsy, but like, here, I did McKinsey's graduation party announcements on Canva. Um, there's other things that I use Canva for. Um, this is for my blog stuff that I do. Um, tons of stuff that I use Canva for. So this first one that we're going to do is we're gonna do a graphic for Boulder the Bear. He is one of the new summer um, designs, so that's what we're gonna do. So here's what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna jump over to my workstation. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. This is where I'm gonna grab some graphics and show you guys how to use those graphics. On my workstation, I'm gonna go to the Marketing tab. So I'm gonna click that. Automatically, it pulls up all these graphics that Cincy is so awesome to share with us. These are free for you guys to use. So I'm wanting to do something for Boulder the Bear. So I'm just gonna click on Download here. Isn't that a cute graphic? Like, I don't even need to do anything. And what's wonderful about this is I've ordered Boulder the Bear, but he hasn't come in yet, and I can go ahead and make a cute graphic for him. I'm gonna right-click on this graphic, and I'm gonna do Save Image As, and I'm gonna name it Boulder, and save it. Now that has saved to my computer. So now I'm gonna jump back over to Canva, and I'm gonna to start to create a design. So over here on the left, just create a design. Now I am just wanting to do a social media graphic. I'll probably use it on Instagram and Facebook. Um, so I'm just gonna do a basic social media graphic. Now you can see tons of things here, um, and it gives you the sizing and all different kinds of things like that. If you're wanting to do like a full page flyer to tuck in, Oh, obviously you choose flyer. Um, I told you though that Instagram posts and um, Facebook story posts have different sizing, but you'll notice this one that says social media is kind of in the middle. So I'm just gonna start a social media graphic for Boulder the Bear. Okay. Automatically it pulls up all of these templates that I can use over here, but I'm just gonna click on uploads now you can see all kinds of stuff that I've uploaded in the past, but I'm gonna click on upload an image. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna type in Boulder. Okay. 
once the blue line disappears, it's ready to go. So then I'm just gonna click on it and it puts it over in my graphic. Now I want it to take up most of the graphic. I'm gonna put a cute border on it in a second, but I'm just gonna stretch it a touch. Okay, now I'm gonna go over here to background, right over here. And just looking at the color scheme of this, I think that red would be a really nice background because of the red pillow in the background and the red in the flannel. So I can do a couple things. I can just type in red and it'll pull up all kinds of stuff. Or I could click here on solid color and it automatically defaults to red, but I could change it to whatever. I'm gonna go over here to red and you click within here like what shade of red you want and you could change it. Maybe I want it a little darker. I would go way dark. Let's go for that bright red though. I'm trying to match that pillow in the background. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna leave that. Um, perfect. Now I wanna add some text to it. So I'm gonna go over here to text. Now you'll notice these three at the top pull up separate. Um, those are the text that I have saved as my brand fonts. So I have to choose one of those, but I can go in and change it. So I'm gonna choose this one right here. I can move it around. Now this little arrow does a little, it'll like turn it crooked. I want it straight. Okay, so I'm gonna wait till that four way arrow's there. I'm gonna put it up here at the top and then I'm gonna click it or let's see. I'm gonna change it to this cute um, quote that I found. Everything in life I share, except, of course, my teddy bear. Just a fun little quote I found. Now I can go up here and click this and look at all these fonts, like tons and tons and tons of cute fonts. Um, I'd love to have something that's kind of like little kiddish. This one might be fun. I'm going to click it, see what it looks like. I like it. I don't know why it only did half of it. We'll just highlight it. And we'll change it all to that. I can, two different ways you can resize. You could go here to resize, or you can just find a corner and drop and drag. I want to make sure that's centered up. A little purple line will pop up when you're in the middle. So I know that's centered. So I am good with that right there. But I want to let people know that this is something that they can order from Sensi and specifically from me. So I'm gonna go over here to my folders because I already have the Sensi logo saved in my logos. So I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna grab this. And I got this logo off of um, the workstation, just like I showed you of how to find Boulder. So I'm gonna put it down in the corner there so everyone can see that this is a Scentsy product. I also wanna put the price and I want to put a little scent pack just to let people know that that price includes a scent pack. So I've jumped back to my workstation to product marketing. Um, and I'm just going to search scent packs. Let's see which one would look cute color-wise. I think perfectly pomegranate would be good. It would stick with that red theme. Again, I'm going to right-click. Saving it to my computer. Jumping back over the graphic. Upload that. Okay, now notice it's a PNG. I don't know if you saw that. Oh, it's not doing right. Hang on. It did not save as a PNG. Let's see if I have an old one that is a PNG. PNG means that there's no um, background on it, and that's really what I want. So I'm going to jump back over. Close that out. I really want one that doesn't have a background. Let's see if we can find that. Let's try a blue. It says it's a PNG, but it's not coming across that way. 
we'll cross our fingers this time. No, we'll just work with it, friends. It's got that white background too. We're just gonna work with it. I don't like that it has the white square, but we're just gonna be happy with it for, for illustration's sake, right? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little tilt. Okay, so I'm gonna add text. I'm gonna tell everyone that this is, oops, $35. I definitely want that bigger. Move that right up there. I don't necessarily love that font. Let's see what it looks like in the same. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, we'll just leave it like that. And then I also want to put on there, um, letting them know that the price includes stamp pack. And notice I'm just using um, one of the fonts I have. I like this font um, for my small writing. It's cute, but it's just still easy to read. I'd like to move those lines a little bit closer together. So notice I went up to spacing at the top and I'm gonna scooch my line height a little bit closer. Okay, I like how that looks. So I'm just gonna go over here to the left side in this big blank space. I'm gonna put my name and my website. I usually use this font for my name. So my customers recognize, like even before they read that, they see that font and they know it's me. I'll shrink it a little bit so we're not covering Boulder up. So I'll put my name there, and then I'm gonna use something easy to read. I don't even know why it puts things, the places it puts sometimes. I'm gonna put my phone number. Actually, I'm going on social media, so I'm not gonna put my phone number. I don't know, I guess I could. And my website is jamiejoeselleswax.com. I definitely want that font a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna highlight all of it and we'll go up here. Love it. Okay, so that was a pretty easy one. Not if you're like totally cool with me or shake your head no if you're like, holy crap, I have no clue what you just did. <laughs> Mickey, what does this mean? <laughs> you can go back and rewatch. I know I went through that super fast. I'm going to do another one for you. It is going to be a little more complicated, but it's the same basic things. I'm just doing it more times. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I want to do though, is this up here is kind of long for a title for this. So I'm just going to rename this Boulder. Now I could stop right now and it would be saved in my graphics. If I wanted though to share it on Facebook or Instagram, I'm going to have to download it first. So this big thing over here that says download, guess what you do? You click it. Um, PNG is what is always suggested if you're going to be sharing it on social media. And so that is just what I will do. And that is going to save that within my computer under the name Boulder that I've given it. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more and then we'll open it up to questions because maybe if you see it one more time, it'll make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go back to my main page on Canva. I'm going to do another social media graphic. So again, I'm just choosing social media here and it's going to give me a blank slate. Now I am going to do a graphic about our laundry line. I'm going to be including a lot of product pictures. So I don't want the background to be too busy but I want something that's cute with laundry. So I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go to photos. 
and I'm going to see what they have for me for laundry. Now I'm already paying them $12.95 a month. So I am not buying any more graphics from them. So I'm going to click this free button and it'll just show me the ones that are free. So I know I'm not going to have to pay anything else. Let's see. I don't want it in the whole background. I want it maybe just at the top or at the bottom. This one might be really cute. Yeah, I'm gonna crop that, but I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it all the way wide, but I don't want all this dead space because I really just want it as a graphic at the top. So if I double click it, double click the picture, it gives me the crop lines. So I'm gonna crop it so it's not wasting a lot of my valuable space. And then I'm just gonna hit return. Actually, I'm just gonna click outside. And it gives me that crop. I don't know if I like that. Oh, this one's fun. All right, I'm gonna delete that. This one's kind of cute. We're gonna go with this one. Because isn't that how everyone's laundry pile looks? Again, I don't want it to be the whole thing, so I'm gonna crop it to be just part of it. Let's see how that's gonna look. You know, I don't like that either. See, I do this all the time. I do things and I take it away. We're just gonna go with a background instead. This is like one of my favorite backgrounds to use. Now, it's a little bright for everything that I'm gonna have going on. So see this checkerboard thing right in the top right corner here? If I click on it, it goes to transparency. So see, I can change the transparency of the background. So I'm gonna diminish it just a little bit. Okay, now I told you that we're gonna do a laundry graphic. So I'm gonna start with a heart and you'll see why in just a second. Again, I just want free ones. I want like a hand-drawn one. This one might be perfect. I want to change the color of it. So up here, that tells me what color it's, it's done in. I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Yeah, love that. Much better. Let's shrink it way down, though. And it's going to go up here. I'm going over to text on the left. And I'm just going to put the letter I. Definitely needs to be bigger. And you just got to play around with sizing and all that kind of stuff. You guys didn't know you're just going to watch a video of me playing, right? Because that's totally what you're doing. And then this is going to say Cincy Laundry. Well, obviously, I need to work on that spacing a bit. You guys, if you have questions, feel free to unmute yourself and jump in because a lot of this, I'm just gonna kind of keep working. So feel free to unmute yourself and jump in with a question as I'm talking. Okay, I wanna do something on the left side of the graphic that's gonna list individually the laundry prices and on the right Jamie? side. Yeah, hang on just a second, Mickey. Okay. And then on the right side, I'm going to show how they can use hostess credits to get the laundry way cheaper. Go ahead, Mickey. Um, I was just going to ask you, are you on your phone or on your computer? That's a great question, Mickey. I hate Canva on my phone. I have it, but I hate it. Canva okay. is so much easier on a computer. I highly recommend it on a computer. Great okay. question. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to tell them, pick your oh, I have a question. Yeah, jump in. Uh, did, you said um, $12.99 a month. So you pay for Canva? 
absolutely. There is a free option. Um, and I went through that at the very first, I think. I'm oh, sorry. No, that's fine. There is a free option. Um, and there, it's even free for your first 30 days. I pay for it. It's definitely worth it for me. Okay. Now, to save some time, I actually saved a bunch of graphics earlier. So I got these, these that I'm digging through right now, I got them off the workstation, but I just knew what I was going to do. So I tried to save us a little bit of time. So I'm doing all um, lavender cotton laundry products and I chose all the same fragrance. So there'd be some continuity. So let those download and then we will jump into throwing them on there. So I'm going to kind of do a side by side comparison price wise is what I'm working on here. Okay, so that's my laundry liquid. I like to go in the order of how they use the products. Not that they can really see what it is because it shrinks down so small, but I still like to do that. So I'm just gonna put the graphics in first and then I'll jump in with the text. Because you're gonna have to kind of layer it because I'm gonna put so much on here, but I still want it big enough that they can see. Okay, now dryer discs, I'm gonna put two on there um, because I'm going to use the laundry love comparison in a second. So it's easiest if you shrink it down to the size you want it. And then if I go up um, here to the top, see, since that picture is the one highlighted, then I can just push copy and it copies at the exact same size. That way I don't have to resize it twice. Now this is what I was talking about where there's no background on these pictures. So I don't know why it wasn't doing that before. I'm not quite sure. Okay, I'm gonna scoot them up a little bit because I wanna make sure that I have enough room at the bottom to put the overall pricing. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump in with some text. I'm gonna go with something really simple. Laundry, if I could type. Liquid is $16. Um, what is it called now, Scent Soft? I'll change the name of it over time, so. Okay, I love how it gives me my little dotted lines, so I make sure that everything is lining up. Love, love, love that. This, and then I'm gonna put two boxes at seven each. Scoot that one over so we're not bleeding into it. And one more tub of washer whiffs. Is 30. Okay. Now, really big at the bottom, I'm going to put total. And that is a total of $76. I would probably change this font, but we're running out of time, so. Okay, so that's on the left side if they bought everything themselves. Now I'm gonna go back to my uploads, and on the right side, I'm gonna do a picture of the Laundry Left Bundle. Again, I found this on the Marketing tab. And I'm gonna go to text. I'm gonna do this text underneath just for space. Laundry Love Bundle, which is 
let's give it the full name, laundry liquid, tub of whiffs, two boxes of dryer mists. Using hostess off price equals twenty five dollars. Okay, but I still need to get them their scent soft. So we're going to do that using hostess credit on this graphic. Okay, now I want to get my little character in on this. So actually I probably need to shrink all this down, but that's all right, we're still just gonna work with it. You guys have probably all seen my character. It's kind of like my signature on most of my graphics. Um, I did pay to have this character done. You can have yours done too. It's very affordable. It was 30 or $35, I think. Um, oh, we got 10 minutes. Um, Ziggy's Gallery on Facebook is who did that. I can read. Okay. And so here, now I want to do, I want to add an element of a text bubble. So it can be like I'm saying something with them, to them, text bubble. You know, give me all kinds of fun ones. This one's good. Obviously, we need to shrink it. And I need to twist it a bit. So it looks like it's coming from my mouth. And then I need a very simple text because it's going to have to be little. Post a party with me and get your laundry set up for just twenty five dollars. Okay, now I would go in, still add my name, my phone number, my website. This still needs tweaked quite a bit, but I'm gonna stop right there because I wanna go over a couple other basics. I'm gonna go ahead and stop my screen share so you can see my face again. Um, a couple things I wanted to go over and then I'll open it up for questions, but we don't have much time. Number one, do not do this with Disney at all. The, the rules for Disney are very picky. And so I think the best advice is just don't, don't make your own graphics with Disney. When I'm dealing with Disney products, I use exactly what's on the workstation and what is shared with us. You cannot add any words to those graphics, just leave Disney alone. I already told you about Ziggy's gallery. Um, I love my cartoon. I get comments on my cartoon all the time. Um, I, I think it was a really good, business expense that I paid for. Also, the other thing I want to talk to you about, I use Canva to design most of my stuff I order on Vistaprint. My business cards were designed on Canva. My magnets were designed on Canva. Every postcard that you guys received from me was all designed on Canva. Now, it's really important that you get the right sizing on that. So when you go into Vistaprint, 
um, you choose the product you're wanting to do and you'll see a thing where it says specifications. You're going to click on that and it's going to give you the exact pixels to do. And let me show you, I'm going to jump back over to Canva real quick to show you where to do that. Okay. So I'm back on my home screen here. I'm going to do create a design. And then over here on the right, you'll see custom dimensions. That's where I would click that and put in the exact pixels that Vistaprint gives me, that Vistaprint tells me. That way I know it's gonna be exactly what I need for that Vistaprint project. Okay, questions. I just went through tons of information in a very short time. So what questions do you guys have? You'll have to unmute yourself because I automatically muted everyone. I'm not even sure what questions to ask. Okay. I think that probably I need to review the video and rather than have it on my phone, do it on my big screen to make it easier to see everything. Absolutely. And what you guys might do, like I said, it's going to take me a day or two to upload this to YouTube, but what might be really helpful is to set your phone next to your computer watch the video on your phone while you're playing with it on your computer. This is a yeah. program that I really think you learn best just by playing with it. You can look at my first graphics and they're honestly pathetic. And now I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like a Canva pro. I use it all the time. Um, so there definitely is a learning curve. Hey, Jamie. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, when you did the character, thing from Ziggy. Uh -huh. uh, I noticed on that one, there is no background. All the ones he's done for me have a background. You so can request, did, you can so I have to him. ask him to do just the character uh -huh. without, the, without a background. Yeah. And if he's okay. already done one for you, um, uh -huh. He might send it to you. He might just pull the background off and send it to you for free. I know usually for alterations, he charges like five or ten dollars, but yeah, that He's should be it. pretty simple for him. So he might just pull that off and send it to you. Just I after. had him, I had him doing something for me today, and by the time we got through messing around with it, it was only five dollars. Yeah, because he's got all my stuff anyway. Exactly. Yeah. But I didn't know that I could just have just my figure without the other stuff. Yeah. So that makes a whole lot of sense. Yes, that way you can put it on anything. Sounds good. Thanks. This was great, but I'm going to have to watch that YouTube probably yeah. a gazillion times. And I, I love the idea of watching your video on my phone and then trying it on the desktop. Yeah, and like I said, this is this is a program, the more you play with it, the better you'll get. I've done a couple of things in there, but uh, I'm just on the free version. Yeah. And I, you know, I've done a couple. And well, the free version, if you're just playing with it, the free version is fine. The main difference is, if you're just getting started between the free and the paid, is the number of photos that are available to you, the amount of folders you can have, and the amount of storage. Really, that's the, that's the biggest thing at first. So stick with the free one until you figure it out or do, you know, the 30 days for free if you want. But I started, I used it for free probably for three or four months before I upgraded. Because I get hung up in the... Go ahead, Mickey. No, I, I was just going to say, I get hung up with some of the other programs because when I get in there to do something and say I have... <clears throat> say I have an image and I want to te do text on both sides mm -hmm. and these other programs once I do the text on one side I don't know how to to get to type it on the other side with canvas looking like you do it you can just do all kinds oh, of you stuff. can do you can do 30 yeah. things on one graphic yeah that sounds great Ellie did you have something I was just gonna say that I would, for me, I'd rather do it for free for a little while, make sure that I get the hang of it before paying for something and not being able to figure it out. Absolutely. And that's why I love that they have the free option. 
All right, guys, we're about out of time. If you guys have any more questions, please throw them out on the team page. I'll start a thread. Um, well, I won't start a thread. Just put it on the, the reminder for this. As soon as I get this uploaded to YouTube tomorrow or Thursday, I'll share it on the team page so you guys can watch it 10 bazillion times if you need to. Thank All you right. so much. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.